button, I am Teacher Ivan and I'm going to quickly show you how to access your school account. First you're going to need to open a browser, I've opened up a browser, I'm going to use Safari, you can use Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, whatever browser you have installed on your device. Go to office.com, it will bring you to the sign in page. Click on sign in either here or up here, whichever you are comfortable with, and it should bring you to the sign in page. Type in your email. I've created a student demo account uh, that I've called SDemo that I will use for this particular tutorial. But you have to type the whole email, including the ISP and the domain. It will prompt you for a password. Type in your password. And it will ask you if you want to save this. In our case, no. It will bring you to a place where it's asking for more information. Click next. The reason for the more information is so that you have the ability to change your own password in case you've forgotten it. So we're going to set you can set up any of these three, either phone, email, or answer security questions. Let's do phone. This needs to be either your phone or a phone that you can access any time you need it. Select a country, type in Uganda and it should select Uganda for you. Now when typing in your phone, because Uganda came with plus two five six, you don't have to begin with zero, you start from seven. Okay, so for example, seven five eight zero eight eight four ten. Notice I did not start with zero seven five eight. I started with seven five eight you have two options you can ask it to call or text you i recommend text because then you don't have to deal with accent differences it should send you a text almost immediately the text will come with a code that you type here and verify once you're done with that, you can click on the finish button to go to your, to your email account. But just in case you do not have a phone number, then you may want to use an email if you have another email, maybe a Yahoo mail or Gmail or Hotmail, whichever mail it is, you can type it right in here as long as you have access to it so for example at gmail.com this is a gmail account i'll ask them to email me and now that they have emailed me i will open up a different tab go to gmail Sign in to Gmail so that I can access my code. Once I'm here, type in my password. Click long. I want to remember. And you should have now received an email from Microsoft Online Service Team. It, it will have your code, select your code, copy it, come back to this page, paste it, and verify. Now you have your email set up as well. You can set up the security questions as well in case you do not have uh, access to the email yes, 
make sure that you're not answering all location questions for example where were you born where was your where did your parents meet they try and um, uh, and change the type of questions so once you have those fully answered click finish remember you can fill in all three options or just one option would be good enough again they're asking if you want to remember your password i will say do not show this again my answer is no because the more you type in your password the more you remember it but also if you're sharing the device you want to not um, ask the computer to remember your password you're now in your office account for the first time and this is what it will appear like you will have applications on the left that you can select from including teams and outlook thank you watch out for the next demo on how to access your outlook and how to access your teams